With the future now distressingly certain, the workers were left to count down the days to the plant's closure. And within just a few short months, the moment they had all been dreading was upon them. The months leading up to the closure had been a painful time for the factory workers, but the last few days would be unbearable. After 56 years of building tractors, the time had come for Banner Lane to begin building the last tractor. Can you imagine the chap puts his last wheel on and looks around and that's it, there's no more. Thank you very much, and goes. That was, you know, the way I felt looking at the poor lads, you know. Good, all, and there were, a lot of good, there were a lot of good lads. Good engineers, good, good men. Good men. The last one, starting from the gearbox area, you know, all the lads signed the name on the gearbox before it was fitted onto the chassis and then the engine as it went to knife. I followed that tractor all the way through, right through till it come off the line on the Christmas Eve. As the last tractor progressed through the process, it starts its life off in the unit build area where the axles are built, the transmission's built and the pump. People were annoyed, angry, very emotional. Most people were emotional, as you can imagine, with their long service here. And I was personally worried for the, the younger employees who had a family to support and mortgages to pay. Whereas I was at the end of my majority of my working life, as a lot of the employees were, a lot of people weren't, and you had to feel for them as regards their future. And they were worried, obviously, as regards what would the future hold for them. It could have been quite easy to throw the teddy out the cot totally and not respond in the manner that we would like to see, but they behaved in a manner that was excellent, really, considering the situation. People were, uh, or the guys were, packing things away. and It was difficult because everything you did was for the last time. So, you know, if you, if you had a sort of a tool or a, a, an implement, you put it away and you weren't coming back the next day to get it out again. And that day was <laughs> sad, it was sad. I was, I was on the track there at about ten past, quarter past seven in the morning on the drop section, ready for it to come up its last, last leg. And I followed it right through until it came up. Things had closed down as the tractor was built. So where the tractor started its life on a Tuesday, by Wednesday, it was just the final lines at the finish. So that was the, the last sort of tractor build. The guys that had done it, say, two or three days before, that had time to sort of, you know, get over it as best you could. But the guys on the final lines had it still to come. Last panel, you know, the last emblem, and you could genuinely see people getting very emotional. And it was strange because it wasn't like one tractor going down the line. It was a line of tractors, and the last one was the last one. So it became more dynamic in terms of, you know, that's it. So it was pretty devastating. And the realization of it all could never be experienced until that particular day. You see the last unit going down the lines, and then it worked its way through the facility onto the main finishing lines. 
and following it is empty. It was a vacuum. There's nothing there. Very sad to see that. And very sad to know that nothing's going to follow it either. That is it. A very bitter pill to swallow on that last day. A very sad day. An end of an era.